Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Motel California where we are starting another episode of Awesomeness. Where, as I guys promised you last episode, we are going to be visiting the uh, old, old, old motel. The motel where James Miller will be going to. You know, just to kind of check it out to make sure that its prices are right for him and his new job as a survivalist. He very much has to check out this new kind of environment and make sure that everything is going to be correct and right for him. Let's skip this, please. I don't like what... This is, like, I really wish they had a better loading screen than this. But, you know, I kind of understand it, but then I kind of don't, so... Yeah. Anyways, as we know from last episode, a guy was a little bit queasy. I kind of left that as kind of a uh, little bit of a cliffhanger because I did not see that until the very last second. It was not intentional, actually. I just, like, noticed I was like, oh, shoot, we are... We are, like, hot and stuff. I was like, oh, shoot, that's not good. So, anyways, I'm not... I think if I remember correctly, I looted most of this and really didn't find much. And so I was like, uh, yeah. Even though I, it doesn't... It still does not make sense to me why there'd be a shotgun and shotgun gels in here. And I would not be able to find, like, a saw or an axe. I actually think I did find a saw. Let me make sure. What did I find? It's been... Sorry, guys. It's been a little bit. Okay, so we found a saw and a hammer. We just need an axe. That's fine. That's fine, we have 12 shotgun shells and a couple of whiskey bottles. Alright, that's fine. Let's get out of here. Alright, anyways, let's go down to go see our beautiful motel. Or hotel, to see if Hotel California is going to be somewhere where we will never be able to leave. <laughs> oh, and by the way, if you guys haven't really realized, I'm going, to making, I'm going to be making lots and lots of references to the song. So, if you have not heard the song... Please go check it out. It's an awesome song. Really worth your time. Wow, this guy's really... I really should check that out. Maybe I should wait until the rest of the day. And then maybe I should go down to there. Because this guy seems to be hurting. And he seems to be kind of taking it easy. But... He not taking it easy. I did not mean taking it easy. I meant James Miller is just really tired and exhausted. You know, going to a warehouse is kind of scary. He, he's definitely afraid of ghosts. You know, he's heard ghost stories about the warehouse killer or the warehouse ghost. You know, he, he definitely wants to, you know, he definitely feels very scared and a little bit in pain from all the stuff he has to deal with. And what the heck is this? I remember I dropped this for a reason, but I don't remember why. Okay, whatever, whatever. I'll figure it out anyways. But yeah, this place is a really good... Still, I think this is one of the best places to hold up. If you ever need a place to, like, hold up, it's still one of the best places because you have a good sense of stuff and... I don't know. You just... It's a, it's a really good place to also defend. Okay, I'm just going to... Speed up time. Okay. Now that we got to here... It's about 8 o'clock. Let's go to sleep. Sleepy time. Sleepy time. There we go. Sleep. Yes. I want to sleep. I want to sleep. I want to sleep. And now my guy is hurting. Don't know what I did. Don't know what I did. But my guy is hurting now. Hungry. Sick. I, I swear I did not get bitten. Like this time I did not get bit. Well, unless that... Don't tell me that scratch actually killed me. That would be... I don't even have the scratch anymore. So it should not be affecting me. Maybe it's a food situation. Maybe. I'll eat some food right now. That should... Yeah, you see this is the thing I love. Sick, queasy. I probably, what happened most likely is I probably ate something I wasn't supposed to. And, you know, it caused me difficulties. I mean, this guy isn't... James Miller already knows. He doesn't eat the most healthy way. The healthiest way that the doctors have mentioned, but... You know, still, okay, I'm still not doing well today, so... I, I really don't want to risk it, guys. And my guy's not feeling well. Yeah, you see, he's already, like, being stubborn, so I'm just going to wait here for a second. Basically, what I'll do is I'll just stay in bed all day. He needs to stay in bed. He needs to take it easy so that he can... Yeah, you see, we're going to have to wait. Okay. We're just going to have to wait. This guy is definitely not in the mood to, you know, do stuff. Probably should have packed up on more food, but I did not expect to be just sitting here. Feeling a little sad? <laughs> I don't really care. You're in a zombie apocalypse. You don't have morality anymore. You should always realize that. Extremely bored getting a tad weepy. Seek some excitement or human contact. Really? Do we really need that noodle in here? I w don't really want to seek human contact. 
I want to stay away from humans. Humans are actually the zombies in this. In this zombie apocalypse, okay? Like, you haven't heard? Okay, let me make sure I'm just not overloaded. No, I'm not overloaded. It's just, for some reason, I'm getting all these, like, weird noodles. Okay. Well, it seems like I'm going to have to break out my whiskey. My whiskey. I'm not... I should probably have put the whiskey... Like, I was thinking of this afterwards. I probably should have put the whiskey inside my, um... My, uh, bag. Like, this should probably be where... This should probably be in my survivalist bag. Because that seems more like what I... Really? You're still sick? Oh, and somebody bangs on the door. Thank you. Thank you, dude. Thank you. Whoever just banged on the door, you, you are extremely helpful. That's really going to help me in the long run. Alright, let me get the... Let me get this open. No, let me get... Uh, see, it's so buggy on the second floor. This is why... This is the one thing I hate about this is that the, the second floor is really buggy. Uh, but anyways, guys, um, I'm kind of recording this right now after my brain has just been, like, uh, morally destroyed, if I must say for that, because, um, well, little backstory here. I recently, um, okay. Really? You're still nauseous? What the heck is affecting you? What if I could put this bag inside the bag? What if that would work? Think about it later, but why are you so like? Oh my goodness! Oh, I can eat these chips. Eat the chips. Jeez, I don't. I'm not getting my character right now. He's kind of annoying me right now. He's being like a stupid, ignorant person. Like seriously, why is he so sick all the time? But yeah. Anyways, now I can finally go down to the hotel. Okay. You know what? Drop this bag. Just, just, just drop it. Let's hope this is the one. Drop. Yeah, this, that one's the one. Okay, just drop it. We're just gonna go down by ourselves. I don't know why my guy feels so, oh, I know why. Wait a minute, what am I doing? What the heck am I doing? Take it off, unequip. Yeah! Barehanded. Yeah, I think the sweat is now starting to cause us to um, feel nauseous. Which is a bad thing, and I honestly think in the game they should actually get rid of the uh, heat system. I know they're trying to be ultra-realistic, but that's just kind of stupid. Like, legitly, it's already, like... I know they're trying to make it harder to survive, but it's already dang hard enough to survive this game. In the beginning, that I'm just gonna circle out in the rain. Just gonna walk away from you guys. I'm just gonna walk away from this giant horde right here and I'm just going to sneak around this giant horde You're not going to see me, no you're not Oh my goodness, that's a lot of zombies That's a lot of zombies Let's just start walking, let's just start walking Let's just start walking I'm walking, I'm power walking Yeah, I'm power walking, I'm power walking No one's gonna hurt my power walking stride No one's gonna hurt my power walking stride Let's see, there's still this guy. This guy's still very much keen on finding me. Somebody in the bushes, I heard that. Alright. But anyways, yeah, my brain's basically befuddled because it's in a very, um, like, morally grayed out area. Like, I recently, um, saw on one of my favorite YouTubers series, uh, not gonna tell you which one because you guys, if you guys have heard this, you guys probably figured out which one already. Um, his um, stream about this game called Catherine. If you guys don't know what Catherine is, it's like this like basically RPG game by Atlas where your basic premise is, is that you have a girlfriend um, and you are pretty happy with her but um, she's giving you some pretty heavy stuff about you know trying to commit and stuff and ultimately what happens is that this other girl comes around and things get crazy from there okay and I should mention by now both the ladies names are Catherine which does present a very funny like you know hypothetical insta you know hypothetical thing but anyways that's not the point I'm trying to get here the point I'm trying to get here is that the ending to one of the characters just blew my mind and blew my like moral radar into everything because I'm, from here on out guys, I'm going to talk spoilers of it, so if you haven't seen it, go see it, it's very much, you know, worth the wait, but basically what's, what's going to happen, and actually, you know, I'll wait a little bit on that, because I just realized that we only have like maybe three more minutes of time left, 
due to all that stupid saving, which kind of does stink. But I'm trying to make sure these episodes are very much small and destroying so you guys can actually see them. And I think I'm almost set to the university. Okay, I think I might have to run through here. Run! Okay, there we go. Running's actually a really bad idea because then you attract more friends. More neighbors and more friends. Okay, from the gas station, I think we have to still go down. Wish I could raid the gas station right now. Oh, shoot, I'm going to get cornered, aren't I? Go! This way. Yeah, let's go this way. It's much safer going this way. Yeah, let's go. I have... I don't think I've passed it yet. Why are you so severely... Uh, It better not be depression. That's all I gotta say. It better not be depression. Because that's... Uh, yeah, like all these little tiny things. Once they give me the option, I'm just gonna turn off. Like... Dying from... Dying from, like, disease. Or dying from, like, depression. It's just not... <laughs> It's just not liable right now. Like, seriously. It's just not fun. Oh, wait, wait. This is the motel. What am I doing? <laughs> I'm just, like, walking past it. Okay, guys. We made it. I can hear a couple zombies inside. Don't worry. I heard those guys. I'm not going in. And I see a big group right there. So, it's giving me a good idea of what I'm going to have to do. Okay. I'm going to clear out all these canisters. Um, don't want to fight any of these guys. Let me just eat this lollipop. Lollipop, lollipop. Oh, lolly, 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 lollipop. Okay. Now you, you going to die now. Or you going to meet my mighty bat. You ready? Mighty bat! Yeah! Okay. Good blood splatter. Now all of you are going to meet my mighty bat. Bring it on! I'm just joking now. Run! Ah! Okay, that isn't a very good idea, but okay. So, as far as I can see, the motel on the outside is completely surrounded. Kind of as, as I expected. Wasn't really expecting, you know, anything big. I mean, I honestly saw it coming, guys. I honestly know that the motel is one of the hardest positions. Let's just try to sneak by this guy. Just try. Okay, there's a ton and ton of zombies in there. Let's just try to make sure you guys don't see me. No, I don't want you to come after me. If you are going to come after me, wait until we... Wait, wait, wait. Wait until we get behind the corner, okay? There's no zombies over here, okay? Yeah, so it seems like there's a couple straggler zombies. I kind of expected that. Ah, oh, come on. This, this guy's still chasing me, isn't he? Oh, great. So yeah, still a couple straggler zombies. I'm not quite ready to go inside. Oh, shoot. Just, just, just sneak away, sneak away, sneak away, sneak away. Hope you, yeah, you guys are just gonna see me. I already know it. So let's just walk away. Okay. Really? Okay, so we have approximately about three big gigantic cords to deal with. You know, I don't... Mm, I don't think there's gonna be much we're gonna have to handle. But like I said, I was just gonna do a walk-by. And since I did go see the motel at the end of the episode, this is technically the end of the episode. So I want to thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you guys. I know I'm not in a very safe place, but I'll see you guys next time.